Hello everyone, welcome to Latte the Bunny. I'm Latte Mon. If you are our fans and have been following us, you will know Latte is a free roaming bunny. And I think it will be a good idea that I will share the experience about how I free roam her. Also, there's so much information I wish I would know before I have her. So I decided to start to make a series of videos that how to take care of your bunny. And for this very first video, we're going to talk about bunny essential. So let's get started. What do you need for free roaming a rabbit? You will need a carpet, a bunny, water dispenser, and a litter box. Maybe a hay bag, but that's optional. What the? Sounds awesome. So that was the fundamental, but we have to talk about the detail. Let's talk about the detail while Latte is eating her hay. Let's start it from water. If you see on internet, people were talking about rabbits do not need water. Sorry, I have to tell you that it's nonsense. Rabbits require a certain amount of water to stay hydrated and maintain their overall health. Rabbits do need water, and there is a lot of water knowledge we can look into. Like, what kind of water feeder should you use? This kind of nozzle water bottle would have the potential risk to let bunnies not consuming enough water. I would say this is a big no-no for rabbit. So what is the safer option? A water bowl will be a yes. But sometimes bunnies like to flip over the bowl just for fun. That's the reason why we switch it to an auto water feeder. This is more convenient for us and we don't need to refill the water every day. Finish talking about the water feeder. Let's talk about water itself. What kind of water can rabbits drink? Can rabbits drink tap water? Some people might say, yeah, I feed them tap water and they are fine. But I wouldn't take the risk because they have pretty sensitive stomach. If your tap water source is clean and fresh, Probably you can feed them, but I still wouldn't take that risk. I reckon to feed them spring water or use a water filter. So the way we do is use the water filter, put it into the kettle or the water and put it into the fridge. That is how we drink water as a human. So we feel like our rabbit should drink the same water as we do. Boiling water might sound a little bit extreme for some people. But it is just our way. Boiling water can kill most of the bacteria. But remember to put it into the fridge to cool it down before you feeding your rabbit. Anyhow, this is totally up to you. Next part, litter box setup. You need a cat litter box, some binder clips, and puppy pad. You might wonder why I'm using these binder clips. The reason is it is because my rabbit is a neat freak. If I'm not making her litter box neat enough for her, she will try to tidy up by herself and yeah, it never work. And ends up I just have to spend more time to clean up the mess. I have to spend a little bit more time to set up the puppy pad, but it will save me a lot of time afterward. After I set up the puppy pad, I will use this cat litter sieve to filter the litter particles a bit. I mix about 80% of paper litter and 20% of wood litter. Paper litter is to help absorb it better and the wood litter is to reduce the odor. The last step is putting hay into the litter box. This is the most important part. The hay I'm putting in is metal. I usually use metal for bedding and we filter the hay before putting it into the bin. There's a lot of knowledge about hay as well. So I will make another video to just talk about the hay later. The last thing I'm going to put in is oaten hay. This is Latte's main hay. Our vet recommends oaten hay. She says Australia local grown hay is as good as Timothy hay. And Latte seems like not a fan of Timothy hay, which is good for us because Timothy hay is not grown locally in Australia. So 
The only way we can get Timothy Hay is from the package. But Lotte is a pretty picky little bum. She's more into the fresh big bale hay. Normally, we buy the bale of oaten hay and meadow hay and mix it together. And yeah, this is how we do hay bag or hay feeder. Why I say this is optional is because I found out placing hay under a bunny can encourage them to eat more hay. And a lot of time you might notice bunny might sit it on the hay feeder or even go into the hay bag because they feel more secure to stand on the hay and they also like to wee and poop on their hay. That is just their natural. They like to do their business while eating the hay. So instead of trying to remove their natural instincts, you should try to find the best way for them. In any way can make your bunnies eat more hay, it is always the first priority. Eating more hay means healthier. Healthier means they can live longer. Yeah, hay can let your bunnies live longer. And hay is generally pretty cheap. If you buy it from the local pet shop or from a farm, it's usually 20 to 25 bucks only. To buy two bales of hay, and it can last about six months for us. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't use a hay bag or hay feeder. There might be a variety of reasons that you use the hay bag. It can be fun, it can be a toy for your rabbit, or like latte. She's not a fan of Timothy hay if you compare with Oaten hay. So the initial setup for her was like this. We put a stack of Timothy hay just next to other hay. Because you know mixing hay is good for bunny. Latte is a sassy little girl. She pushed out that stack of hay a few times from her house. And I put it back. And we went through a few times of that. One day I opened her house. And I found out this. She pushed that stack of hay into her water bowl. So I ends up using the hay bag again. She's not eating much of Timothy hay, but I still put it there. Just she has some option. Maybe one day she selling likes the Timothy hay. Unlimited fresh hay every day. We change her litter box every evening. And during the daytime, I will add some hay for a couple of time. Every time I add some hay in, Latte always be pretty excited and will get into the litter box again. I have seen on internet people always talking about how rabbit destroy their furniture, carpet, and etc. etc. So here's one small tip. When you add more hay for them, they usually will spend quite a bit of time in their litter box again. The reason why they keep destroying something they shouldn't is because they are bored. And rabbit is actually a pretty smart creature. When they're bored, they find something to do. So when you add some hay into their litter box, they will come and check it and see what's going on. And will spend quite a bit of quality time in their litter box. There I still have some tips about how to stop your bunnies, destroy your furniture, carpets, and all those kind of things they shouldn't do. And I will also make another video for that in the future. Pallets. How much pallets your bunny actually need? This is Oxbow Daily Feeding Guy. I have recreated this chart by converting pound to kilogram and cup to gram. So how much pellet you need to feed your bunny is actually depends on their weight. For my bunny, Latte, for example, she is 1.6 kilogram. So if following this chart, I should feed her about 19 gram. Also, this is Oxford Daily Feeding Guideline. This should also apply to general pellet feeding. For other brands palettes, you may also follow their guide on the package. But you may be surprised, there's a lot of palettes is actually not good for bunny. Xbo is one of the good brands that our vet recommended. There are still a few brands of palettes are pretty good out there. But you need to look at the ingredients. Shouldn't pick the one is too high protein. 
So how to choose your palettes, which brand is better? I will make another video later. For just talk about the ingredient. I know I keep saying I will make another video later, but sorry, there's just a lot of knowledge that I couldn't possibly fit it all knowledge in just one video. After weighting the palettes, I normally put it into a small bottle. It can help me to remember how much should I fit my ribbon. Remember I was talking about bunnies, they are very smart creature. I don't feel latte like all in once. Put it into the bow feeder, IQ feeder it. If you have been following us, you will know latte has many different kinds of toys. And I also use this amount of palettes to interact with latte. Like playing the tricks with her or shaking the bottle when I want her to come to me. What else should you feed your bunny? I have made this bunny diet diagram. Welcome to take a screenshot and share it out. But remember to keep the logo and credit me. Cause I have spent quite a bit of time to make this chart. So we have been talking about the basic stuff. Like hay, pellets, and unlimited water. What did we miss? Your bunnies will also need some veggie. And some treats to make them happy. But remember, herbs and veggies should be only fed 10% of your bunny's diet. Treats should be only 5% in your bunny's diet. You can feed your bunny small amounts of veggie every day and very small amount of treats for your bunny, like raspberry, banana, apples. But be very careful of the quantity you feed it because of the high amount of sugar may be bad for your bunny's health. The final part of the video, I'm going to talk about Latte's house and how do we clean Latte's house every day. Some of you guys might notice, Latte's house is actually a timber storage bench. We bought it from Kmart, it was on clearance. And I was like, this is perfect for Latte's house. So we did some DIY, we cut a hole on the side of the bench. Then she will be able to go in and out from this entrance. We also bought a door hinge and screwed it on between the lid and body itself. Then we will be able to close the lid and open the lid very easily. The last last part of the video. Daily cleaning. Let me show you how I clean Latte's house every day. So in this way, I just have to remove the binder clips on the litter box. And I wrap the puppy path right into the garbage bag. Yeah, and of course, clean the rest of the hay and the cocoa puff produced from latte. Latte never has the cage before, so I wouldn't know how tough is it is to clean the cage. But I did hear people talking about how tough is it is to wash their cage every day. So I guess this is another advantage to free roam your bunny. Also, it's very important to keep your bunny's environment clean. You do have to clean your bunny's litter box at least once in two days. Otherwise, they will have a better chance to get a bacteria infection or it may lead it to more serious illness. After cleaning the bunny's house, remember to set up the carpet, the bunny, water dispenser, and litter box. Also a hay bag. And voila, congratulations, you got a happy bunny. Thanks for watching till the end. If you want to see more bunny's content, Remember to subscribe us, turn on the notification, and we will see you next time. Bye!